3D printed casts are becoming more popular in the medical field. Today, the cast can be made faster and cheaply than traditional orthopedic casts. In this video, we'll learn more about 3D printed casts, the printers used to make them, and where the technology is headed for the future. The printed orthopedic casts are increasingly being used to treat fractures. However, the use of this technology has been quite limited. In a few minutes, we'll look at the advantages and the disadvantages of 3D printed casts compared to traditional plaster casts. We'll also look at what the future holds for this conservative, yet reliable and effective treatment method. Orthopedic plaster cast is used to facilitate the healing process of broken bones. The cast acts as a pin and fixes the limbs in place to prevent the bone from healing improperly. Modern dressings are usually made of plaster or fiberglass. The idea of creating a fixing or immobilizing dressing was first promoted by the Russian surgeon Nikolai Ivanovich Pirogov. In 1847, during the hostilities in the Caucasus, Nikolai was the first medical practitioner to use a fixing molded bandage to help treat bone fractures. At first, the surgeon used starch to harden the bandage, but later on, he replaced starch with gutta percha and finally, with gypsum. The modern plaster cast is a hygroscopic bandage that has been sprinkled with gypsum plaster. The plaster is produced industrially, packed and then sealed. When soaked in water, the gypsum plaster begins to harden. Applying a plaster cast can take up to 45 minutes and a full cast can take from 24 to 72 hours. Removing plaster cast is also a complex procedure. The hardened plaster can only be safely broken with a special electric saw. As it's evident, there are many opportunities for improving this technology and the pioneers of 3D printing saw the potential of additive manufacturing to solve such emerging problems. The first 3D printed anchors were introduced in 2013. At the time, the orthosis production scheme became clearer. The scheme comprises of three main stages, X-raying, 3D scanning, and finally 3D printing. In the first stage, the X-ray stage, a standard X-ray of the patient's limb is taken to determine the exact position of the broken bone. The second stage is 3D modeling. Here, the patient's hand is scanned with a 3D scanner to create a 3D model of it. The 3D scanning and subsequent modeling is based on the exact measurements of the patient's hand. This allows a perfectly fitting impression to be made. The third stage is the 3D printing stage. In this stage, the orthosis is 3D printed from lightweight plastic and can be fitted to the patient in a few seconds. While 3D printing technology has been around for almost a decade, 3D printed orthopedic cars have yet to gain significant acceptance. The main reason for this is the lack of specific data on the practical benefits of 3D printed orthosis. However, the situation has begun to change. In a study compiled in 2020, Chinese scientists compared the use of 3D printed orthopedic casts used to treat fractured hands with the traditional plaster casts and external fixed splints. The results of the study 
showed that compared to plaster, 3D orthoses reduce pain and are more comfortable. Also, the technology is being used more and more over time, although at a slower pace. For example, Children's Hospital in Colorado announced that it was the first pediatric hospital in the US to offer 3D printed orthoses for children. The technology improves treatment results and removes a number of limitations of traditional methods of treatment. The invention of the plaster was one of the greatest medical discoveries. However, the use of plaster has a number of disadvantages that can be overcome using 3D printing. For example, applying a plaster cast can be a long, laborious, messy, and even a painful process. Before making a plaster cast, accurate measurements need to be carefully taken. 3D printing solves all of these problems. With this technology, the cast can be easily fixed in seconds with a pair of clamps. Also, removing a 3D printed cast is easy and does not require the use of dangerous electric saws. Another disadvantage of plaster is that it is not breathable. The plaster prevents air from coming into contact with the skin. As a result, the patient's skin pores can get clogged. On the same note, some patients can develop dangerous skin infections in their wounds. And finally, the constant heat, sweat and pressure can be very unpleasant and may even cause itching. 3D printed casts solve all these problems. The casts or orthoses are made in form of a lattice that comprises of open sections with plastic posts. As a result, the casts have the required structure but do not completely cover the hand. This way, patients experience more comfort as they don't have to deal with unbearable heat, sweating, or pressure. Coming back to traditional casts, the gypsum used to make the orthopedic cast cannot be wet as water will destroy its structure. Therefore, a patient with a traditional cast cannot take a shower or may be afraid of getting caught out in the rain. On the flip side, 3D printed orthoses are made of water-resistant plastic. You can even swim with the casts on. Another disadvantage of conventional gypsum casts is the inability to properly distribute pressure. This is perhaps the biggest disadvantage as it slows down the healing process. Coming to 3D printed orthopedic casts, these casts are custom made and the lattice structure can be designed to add strength to specific areas that need support and to relieve pressure elsewhere. The idea of the mesh structure of the orthopedic casts was fronted by New Zealand engineers Oli and Jack Evil. The two engineers developed a prototype in 2013 and later on created one of the world's first 3D printed orthopedic casts. The printed cast was lightweight, breathable, high-tech and provided localized support for broken bones. This orthopedic cast showed the promise of 3D printing technology. For developing the 3D printed orthopedic cast, the two engineers emerged second place at the International James Dyson Technology Awards. Their design vision led them to working as designers in the recent Hollywood blockbuster Blade Runner 2049. We'll now take a look at the specific 3D printing technologies for creating orthopedic casts. We'll also look at some companies that provide such services to patients and doctors. In most cases, 3D printed orthopedic casts are made from FDM 3D printers. The cast model is formed through layer by layer application of molten plastic filament. The main advantage of FDM 3D printing technology is low cost of the material, which means that the models made turn out to be cheap. However, 
This technology has one major disadvantage, that is slow printing speed. As a result, medical centers cannot create a 3D printed cast as a patient waits in the lobby. For anyone interested in 3D printing orthopedic casts, FDM 3D printers with a large build volume are perfect for the task. Large format 3D printers such as the RAIS 3D Pro 2 Plus and the Picasso Designer XL are great for such operations. These printers are highly reliable and capable of operating 24-7. Another technology that is used to 3D print orthopedic casts is resin or polymer 3D printing. Resin 3D printers print faster than FDM printers and the surface of the finished models is much smoother. However, the technology has its drawbacks. For example, the models printed have to be post-processed. Moreover, the resin material used to make the 3D printed casts is quite expensive compared to the plastic filament used by FDM 3D printers. Some good resin 3D printers for orthopedic casts include the Frozen Transform Fast and the Formlabs 3L models. The Formlabs 3L, together with the whole Formlabs ecosystem, can become an indispensable tool in 3D printing orthopedic casts. On the other hand, the Frozen 3D printers are affordable and it will make sense for anyone wanting to try 3D printing casts. Now let's look at some interesting examples of businesses from around the world that are involved in 3D printing casts for broken bones. Castprint is a service bureau founded by entrepreneurs Janice Olins and Sigwards Krongons in Latvia. The company not only develops orthosis for individual parts of the hands, that's the wrist, thumbs, and other fingers, but also for the treatment of leg injuries. Casprint has expanded its business and its technology has become commonplace in the Latvian healthcare market. The firm also has expanded into the UK, where several private healthcare firms have introduced 3D printed casts into their practice. The Spanish company Exkelet has decided to speed up the 3D printing of orthopedic casts. The company's COO, Tim Dobrinich, was unhappy that it took about two hours to scan and produce a cast. He came up with a way to reduce the time from two hours to just 15 to 30 minutes. To do this, Tim used a dedicated camera mount on the iPad and a specially crafted app. Using this equipment, the patient's limb is photographed from all angles and a cast model is formed in seconds. This eliminates the need for longer, separate 3D scanning and simulation. Exkelet braces use anchor points, known as O-rings. The anchor points allow the same model to be recast multiple times, and this reduces the production process. In April 2021, the company received an award at the International Design Festival Red Dot Award in Berlin for the design of a 3D printed cast. The Russian company The Drav Print took a different path and began to create orthoses based on the patient's biometric parameters. The company uses a special software that converts the patient's hand dimensions into a 3D model of an individual orthosis. The company takes 15 to 90 minutes to produce accurate orthopedic casts. The casts have an internal three-dimensional structure that makes the thermoforming process faster. Forming the product for the patient takes just 5 minutes. The Drav print works with leading Moscow medical institutions such as the 29th Moscow City Clinical Hospital and the 4th Moscow City Clinical Hospital. Hundreds of patients have already been treated with the company's products. As we wind up, let's look at the pros and cons of 3D printed orthopedic casts. The main advantages of 3D printed casts include patient comfort, easy application and removal, 
as well as lower costs compared to a plaster cast. Individual modeling of the 3D printed orthopedic cast makes the treatment process much more efficient. Moreover, the open lattice structure improves breathability, which is especially important when treating children. 3D printed casts are durable, lightweight, and do not restrict movement like conventional plasters. The cast can also be reused, which helps to reduce costs, as suggested by Escalette. Finally, the orthopedic cast can be remodeled and modified using the existing structure and less material. On the downside, there is less data on the effectiveness of the use of 3D printed casts in treatment of injuries compared to using plaster. Even now, with more research being conducted on 3D printed cast treatment, medical consensus is yet to be reached. For this reason, the technology has not yet become widespread. Also, the use of orthosis for the treatment of leg fractures is still difficult. Leg orthoses are comparatively larger and more inconvenient than their counterparts for treating hand fractures. The casts make it difficult to wear socks and shoes, and some of them are more restrictive. One of the next tasks that 3D printed orthosis must solve is to fix entire limbs and not just the hand, wrist, foot or ankle. Industry leaders are trying to develop arm orthoses that extend beyond the elbow to the shoulder and biceps. There's also research on orthopedic cast for hip for treating leg fractures. Some of the most devastating injuries occur in these areas, for example from car and motorcycle accidents. At the moment, such injuries can only be treated using plaster casts. 3D printed orthopedic casts for broken bones are currently available worldwide in the commercial healthcare market. However, patients receiving free public healthcare are unlikely to have heard about them. This is primarily due to the same lack of the necessary research that clearly confirms the effectiveness and safety of the technology. Still, players in the 3D printing sector hope that research will be compiled soon and the technology will be available to everyone. That's an overview of 3D printed orthopedic casts. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.